Oh, man, there's God. always a scam out there for anything, right. anything. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and you do, you have to be, I mean, I know, like, you know, my parents routinely kind of check in with my grandparents to make sure that everything is, you know, going okay, because mm -hmm. you, you just never know, and you don't want someone you love to be taking it. Right. It reminds me, I remember Not a grandma, one of my grandmas saying, oh, if I pay the taxes, I get a BMW for free. I just have to send taxes, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah. You're like, no, no you don't, not grandma. Not yeah, right. <laughs> Please BMWs don't do are BMWs <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not free for, for most people, or oh, just no. tax, you know. Taxes is right. space. So they'll think of anything to try to get a little bit of money out of yeah. you. And yeah. unfortunately, it works sometimes. So, uh, all right. Well, Mother Nature getting a little bit more uh, triple digit heat out of us uh, uh, for today. Okay. Expecting that at least. A this lot of the cloud the cover. Though, right? At least for Hopefully. now. For now. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> we can still get there, of course, in August and maybe even yeah. the part of September. But yeah, for right now, live look uh, downtown. Yeah, we're starting to get some of the first light. Of course, we have the smoke and haze we're dealing with. And uh, a little bit more cloud cover in the lower parts of the valley, even in uh, eastern Oregon as well. A few sprinkles pop up on radar, but for the most part, uh, it's going to be a gorgeous day uh, as far as uh, quite a bit of sunshine this afternoon. Toasty temperatures, perfect for maybe a boating day out there. Your adventure cast showing at uh, 83 at 10 o'clock, 93 degrees by one o'clock. So exercise as well. Want to do that early, of course, uh, when we typically have these hotter days. 99 at four, with a daytime high expected of 101 degrees across the Treasure Valley. So air quality for today, we're still in the moderate category. Even though you look outside and you just say, "Oh, it looks." so mucky and and gross out there. Uh, a lot of the area is still showing moderate air quality. Uh, Nampa at the St. Alphonsus uh, station there reporting sensitive uh, or unhealthy for sensitive groups. So some areas a little bit worse than others uh, in general, though moderate quality expected. Advisories in effect, none necessarily for the uh, Treasure Valley or for much of southwest Idaho, eastern Oregon, but surrounding us, a lot of red flag warnings for eastern, uh, the east central mountain area, the southern highlands, south of the Magic Valley. Uh, red flag warning for a slight risk of some thunderstorms, gusty winds, hot temperatures. Of course, you get the low humidity. That'll be through 9 o'clock this evening. So explosive fire conditions essentially uh, exist. Uh, east of our region and around us as well. The fires that are burning currently across the region, again, the Mesa fire is a big one just west of uh, Cascade. The Keithley fire, uh, mile marker 73 along Highway 55 fire as well. So quite a few fires still burning. Of course, the Sharps fire, now the largest in the state uh, in south central Idaho uh, or the south central mountains. Uh, high temperatures expected for today, a toasty one out there. We talked about triple digit temperatures anywhere from 101, 102 across much of the Treasure Valley. 103 down in Ontario, Harper 103 as well. Even some low 90s for mountain valleys today with 87 in Stanley, Idaho City, 97 for highs. So ridge of high pressure over much of the west. That's what's helping circulate up some of that monsoonal moisture. Gave us some cloud cover yesterday. A few radar returns today. Now moving forward, we do get a little bit of relief, a weak low pressure system moving through from the Pacific Northwest will help kick out uh, some of that uh, hot air that's in place, giving us some not so hot as far as temperatures go later on in the week. It'll help weaken or flatten out that ridge of high pressure and bring down some cooler temperatures. So for today, a code red day as far as hot temperatures go. 101 as I talked about, 96 tomorrow. A little breezy Thursday and Friday as that weak front rolls through, dropping us to 90 degrees by Friday. 89 on Saturday over the weekend and 90 on Sunday with that hazy sunshine expected. Normal high is 93 for the time of year, so slightly cooler than average uh, over the weekend. Still hot though. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. If it weren't for the haze and the smoke, we'd be doing all right. Monday, Tuesday, next week, uh, more hazy sunshine and warming back up to the upper 90s. Mountain forecast, uh, 89 today, partly cloudy, maybe a shower, mainly east of the region after showers this morning. 90 or 79, excuse me, kind of flipped those numbers on Friday, 77 on Saturday, back up to the low 80s by Monday, Tuesday next week. Roland will be tracking any changes to the forecast at 4 and 530, as well as, you know, if we get an isolated storm from the mountain areas, want to be sure to watch out for any lightning strike to start new fires. So yes. We'll be tracking that as well. Very true. Last right. thing we need right now. So, oh, yeah. All right. That's true. Appreciate it, Nate.